Hi everyone, you're here with Chinese Sai, and these are my fun facts on William the First's coinage. Let's get going. William the First, usually known as William the Conqueror, and sometimes William the Bastard, was the first Norman monarch of England, reigning from 1066 to 1087. By 1060, following a long struggle to establish his throne, his hold on Normandy was secure. In 1066, following the death of Edward the Confessor, William invaded England, leading an army of Normans to victory over the Anglo-Saxon forces of Harold Goodwinson at the Battle of Hastings and suppressed the Saxon revolt in what has become known as the Norman Conquest. William the Conqueror continued to use the Anglo-Saxon coinage system. A penny was a fairly large unit of currency at the time, so the pennies would be cut into half or even quarters and given to people as change. Most pennies of King William I and II show a front-facing bust of the king on the other side of the coin. The Anglo-Saxon kings would mostly use a sideways-facing profile. The reverse of the coin usually showed some form of cross, surrounded by the legend identifying the moneyer and the mint, the place which the coin was made. The flurry penny. The first coins of the new reign were pennies known as the profile left or the cross flurry type. William probably began striking these coins at the end of 1066. Following his coronation in Westminster Abbey, he continued using the design until 1068. The bonnet penny. William's second penny was the bonnet type. This was taken from the form of the crown he was wearing on the other side of the coin. William struck these coins from 1068 to 1070. The reverse design is very similar to the one used by Edward the Confessor, an extremely rare coin struck during the last years of his reign, the canopy type penny. After putting down or exterminating the northern resistance, William asked the Pope to send Papal Legates, a person representing the Pope in foreign nations or to some part of the Catholic Church to England to crown him again for the second time. This was to show the church's approval of William I's reign. William's third coin type, the canopy type, appears soon after. The canopy penny takes its name from the canopy that surrounds William's crowned bust. William struck these coins from 1070 to 1072, the two scepters penny. The fourth coin of William's reign was the two scepters type penny, named for the scepters which William I holds. William struck these coins from 1072 to 1074, two star pennies. The fifth coin of William's reign was the two star type penny, named for the stars that appear on either side of the obverse portrait. William struck these coins from 1074 to 1077. The sword penny, the sixth coin of William's reign, was the sword type, named for the swords William holds over the right shoulder. William struck these coins from 1077 to 1080. The right profile penny, the seventh coin of William's reign, named for William's right-facing profile. William struck these coins from 1080 to 1083. The profile right pennies are the rarest of William the Conqueror's reign. The Pax Penny The eighth type penny struck in the name of King William are the Pax Pennies. These display the letters P-A-X-S, which stands for peace, at the intersection of the cross on the reverse side of the coin. The Pax coins were the rarest of William's coins, until 1833, when four children unearthed a massive hoard of 6,439 pennies. It is later believed that thousands of coins from the hoard were dispersed before it was officially examined, and the Pax Penny is now the most common of all William coins. If you enjoyed this program today, or found it helpful in any kind of way, please click the like button and then subscribe to the channel.